Hi everyone, it's Finola back again. Finola Howard for Ask Finola How and this is episode 46. And our question this week is, how can I achieve the right balance between working in my business and managing to invest time to work on my business to avoid the feast and famine roller coaster? Such a great question. So we've heard these, there's two things that happen all the time. It's I work in versus on famine feast. These are the two common things that happen all the time for an entrepreneur. So here are my thoughts. And I bet I'll have more if I answer this question in a year's time or in a month's time. But here are my thoughts for now, okay? Because we all grow and we all evolve. So, okay. <sighs> Balance in on, okay. My first thing is to always, and to every marketing question, to every business question, to every entrepreneurial question, I always start with why our lovely Simon Sinek, which I should have said last week in my books, start with why, I'll include that for last week, okay? But let's come back to this. Be clear about what you want from your business. You have to start there because that frames everything. And it's, I always ask this question when I'm working with a client is, be clear in what you want for the business and that is be clear on the dream. Now the dream evolves over time and we all kind of realize that and know that, but we also want to start with a dream even if the dream evolves. So start with what you're wanting from your business because just as the reason I put this caveat in here is if you don't have a dream to start with, if you don't have a goal or an end point in mind, then how are you going to get there? How are you going to achieve anything if there's nothing driving you or pulling you towards it? So start with why you're in business and what that looks like and what your definition of success looks like. So if your dream became real, what would that look like? Be really clear on that. The second question I ask everyone is, what are you willing to do to achieve that? And it's very important. What are you willing to do? If because what I find when I ask that question of clients or participants on programs, when they frame out what it will take to get to where they want, sometimes they're not willing to do that. And I'm being very clear, there's no judgment here. It's actually just brilliant. If you're not willing to do all of that to get to there, and that means you may change how your dream looks because you want to make it more real. Like this idea is always, if you see any of the artwork for Get Strategic, you'll see that it's a hand reaching up and we're pulling down like it is what we talk about in the planning sessions. It is some of the graphics that I use It's to try to really see that dream and pull it really, really close and to pull it really close requires action. So what are you willing to do to get there? OK, now and this is really important because it allows you to first frame that dream but then what I would always want you to do is come back to say what happens this year, this month, this week to make that real. And you and that's why planning is so important. And that's why we do these free quarterly planning sessions for everyone. And if you want to know more, DM me, message me. We'll put you on the list. OK, the next one is in September. Right. But so you have that in place, right? And that always seems aspirational. So now then I want you to get really practical. And the really practical piece is in each week. So from we're going back to this feast or famine idea in this week, what do you need to earn? What sales, what financial goals do you need to hit every single week? Because that's what you need to bring it back to. So because we are, you know, we are uh, very involved in the doing to make that dream happen. So we're in action mode. So what needs to happen financially every week for you to keep things moving? OK, so you need to put a figure on that X thousand, X hundred thousand, X million, whatever it is. OK, the next step then is can you achieve that in three to four out of your five day week? Like, can you manage that or do that within three or four days of your week? Because if you can't, if you are constantly in the doing mode, then you're constantly in your business and never on your business. So we have to create a space for the on part of your business. And that space needs to be one to two days a week. It can be two half days. It can be four half days. It can be two, two full days. But you need to create the space to have the on time working on your business. 
So set the goals around what you need to achieve in the rest of it. What's my business model that allows me to create to meet those financial goals in three to four days a week. And if I can't give myself and my business one to two days a week to work on it, then I'm working in a treadmill. And I'll say that again. If your business requires you to be on a treadmill, then this is not a good business model. Then this is a business model that you must change. So frame it like that. How much do you need to make, to produce, to sell, three every week? How many days does it take to get there? What space are you creating for on time? And that's framing in your business and on your business in a week. And then you roll that up. It's also framing preventing feast and famine happening because there's a consistency of you generating revenue every single week. So you never get caught with famine because you planned for the baseline. And the working on your business part provides for the feast time, that you reap the benefits of that by growing your business consistently over time. Okay? So the other thing I will say to you is in the planning, which I really advocate you join me for one of those quarterly planning sessions and they are free, yes. So plan the leaps that will move your business. I work on the pe premise that we try to have a leap once per quarter or once every six months, that you make a fundamental shift in your business once or twice, once or twice a quarter. Sorry, I'll say that again. W at least once a quarter, plan the leap. And that allows you to know that you've created a baseline by making those financial goals weekly, creating a baseline for constant cash flow, and then planning for feast, which is making sure that there's a leap in your business once every quarter or once every six months. Really important. The last thought that I leave you with is plan or find a group that will hold you accountable. Find a group of people, a network or two or three people where you trust each other and you are all going for growth in your businesses and that you all help raise each other and hold yourselves accountable to each other every single week or fortnight or however, however often you meet. That's a game changer because entrepreneurship is solitary. We always know that and often we're kind of shy to explain the inner workings of our businesses of where we're at. But if you have to meet a group every week, every month or every two weeks and share with them either the challenge you're facing or the stride that you've made, then you will come with growth in mind always. And that for me is a game changer for any business. And it means that you're consistently moving towards growth. That has been episode 46. And it's all been, and this episode of Ask Finola How has been all about working in versus on your business and helping that manifest in your business. Have a great day. If questions, leave them for me. I'm always happy to answer them and I'll see you next week. Take care.